Okay. Who have we got here tonight? Let's have a look. Oh, there's loads of comments already. Uh, hello, Owen. I knew you'd be here. Um, bah, 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 bah. Oh, Owen, you've been making lots of comments. Derek, hello, Derek. It's a nightmare, isn't it, Derek? Because you've put, I like the dress, but I'm not actually wearing the dress that I was in the thumbnail. Um, what have we got? Oh, lots of comments from Owen. Hang on. Uh, my goodness. Uh, hello, Mark. No, no leather at the moment. No, sorry. Funny enough, I've actually got to put some leather on in a bit because I've got a couple of custom videos to do tonight. Hello, Ludovic. Uh, hello, Bratman. I, did I enjoy the wedding? I did enjoy the wedding. I kind of go to weddings, not that often, to be fair. And I'm always fearful I'm going to find them boring. Because let's face it, unless you're really close to the, the people who are getting married, as a rule, they are boring, aren't they? But I think because of COVID and the fact that it was only, well, there was 27 of us in total, it was quite a nice, intimate uh, wedding. So it was it was very nice. And the sun shined, which is always good. So, um, yeah, it was very nice. Thank you. Hello, Ian. Uh, my question, does mature, beautiful women wearing pantyhose without... Uh, that's your question. Um, sometimes. Sometimes is the answer. Not always. Sometimes. Um, Joe's saying, Bratman, Batman. <laughs> it makes me laugh how lots of people decide to have conversations with Bratman on this, uh, on these live chats. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Is Jerry in the house? I've not seen him yet, Bratman. Um, okay. Hello, Caesar. Hello, Joe. Hello, Derek. We've said Derek. Oh, thank you, Derek. It's very kind of you. Hi, Charles. Hi, Eric. Um, hello, Daniel. Hello, Samrat. Hello, Caesar. I've said hello, Caesar. Hello, Gianni. Hello, James. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, hello, Massey. Hello, Sal. What time is it for you, Sal? I always ask you what time it is, but I can never kind of make a decision on what time is it. It's 10 past 10 p.m. here. What time is it over there? Because I don't think you're at exact, like, 24 hours, are you? Which I always kind of think of for Australia, but it's not always right, is it? Because Australia is massive. Hello, Adam. Oh, first time watching the links. Well, thank you for joining. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. Uh, thank you, Franco. Uh, hi, Caesar. Oh, we've said hello, Caesar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Mark. My tights tonight, they are Wolfords. Yes, surprise, surprise. Eric asks how I am. I'm fine, thank you, Eric. I'm fine. I'm a bit tired, actually. I seem to be tired a lot, don't I? <laughs> To be fair, most of the time I'm on these chats saying I'm tired. Um, I have, Stephen, had a good day. Thank you. Hello, hello. Um, do you have sandals? Yes, I do have sandals. Fair enough, I was got, I've got a pair of sandals to review, but I haven't brought them down with me. I went to the wedding yes, yesterday. It's Saturday, isn't it? Yesterday. And I had a brand new pair of um, strappy sandals, high-heeled sandals from June. And I haven't worn them in, and I was a bit fearful that they were going to be killing my feet. And I have to say, they were extremely comfortable, and I wore them all day with no bother at all. They were very nice. What heels were a wedding? Yeah, they were they were strappy heels, and they were kind of like a nudie pink colour. Um, yeah, they were very nice, I have to say. Oh, Derek, I love you. Um, it's been raining a lot where Eric is today. We've had beautiful sunshine all day here, Eric. Uh, hello. Oh, I love Orlando. Phil Reese Philip is in Orlando. <laughs> I love it there. 7 a.m. for you. Okay. Then. Okay. So we're a few hours different then. So you're up early. Are you up just to watch the the live, or are you do you kind of get up this time anyway? That's early for a Saturday morning, isn't it? Well, Sunday morning. For you, Sunday morning for you now, isn't it? It's like time travel. Uh, yes, Edward, I have. Um, hello, Joe. Oh, thank you, Caesar. Lucy, can I call you mum? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> My question is, uh, Stephen, I've answered the question, and the question, the answer is sometimes. Oh, Danix was looking at my red nails. Yeah, they look all right tonight, don't they? I had them done for the wedding. Um, 
Go on then, Jake, get your heels on as well. Any new style that I need to be aware of? Insane wife. Um, any, mm, what's the new styles? I don't know. Are there any new styles? And chunky boots are in fashion at the moment, aren't they? But I'm not kind of going with that. Dr. Martin's in chunky boots. And trainers with long dresses is the latest fashion at the moment. Uh, don't really go with that either, to be fair. But it looks nice on some people. And one of the girls at the wedding yesterday was very, wearing a very, very um, large skirted, almost like bridesmaid dressed, almost. It was like a, like a chiffon. No, not a chiffon, wrong word. It was like a, what was it? It was like, um, I don't know. It was like a crepey material skirt, very big skirt. And then she had white trainers on for the wedding. <laughs> it looked quite groovy, I have to say, but... Mm. Um, good evening, Judy. Can I buy your tights, please? Yes, you can. Get in touch. Good evening, Lucy. Are you sick of the football yet? Do you know what? I'm not sick of it because I don't watch any of it. And I'm lucky because nobody in my family are particularly big on football either. So I don't have the issue of people wanting to watch football when I don't want to watch it. So, um, not an issue. Um, good evening, Lucy. You look stunning. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Thank you, Matthew. That's very kind of you. And yes, I am. Uh, thanks, Gianni. Bratman, your hair looks amazing tonight. Has the sunburn gone yet? Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes, the sunburn has gone. That would have been extremely, extremely, extremely bad sunburn had it still been here. Because how long ago was that now? It's got to be at least just over a week, hasn't it? That would have been about, yeah, it's all fine. Um, sub to all my channels. Thank you. Off shift, but managing to drop in. Oh, well done, Matthew. That's a good view. Looking good with the off the shoulder number. Da, 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 da. A bit of shoulder sh showing here tonight. Um, thank you. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. Oh my God, yeah. Scroll to the bottom because I've missed loads of comments. Right, let's run my way back up. What's your favourite high heels? I've got a pair of dune shoes that are very comfortable, but I have to say these ones I'm wearing at the moment, despite the fact that they're extremely pointy at the front, these are my Prada shoes and I do like them. And they're bearing in mind how high they are and how pointy they are. They are very comfortable. But you know, I've just joined a group on Facebook, um, which is all about Christian Louboutin. And I'm, I'm, I can't stop looking at them. They're amazing, the Christian Louboutin shoes. I might need to um, invest. Ideally, one of you lot would buy them for me. So I might stick a pair on my Amazon wish list in the, in the hope that somebody would buy me a pair. But um, yeah, oh, my, my, hang on, what's going on with my, oh no, I don't want the comments going that way. That way, there we go. Right, let's have a look. Do you watch the soaps? Asks Derek. No, don't watch any soaps. Um, you dangle it and it's always a pleasure. Thank you, Daniel. Warfield's twirl, please, says Bratman. And he's super chatted. Bratman knows it's to get me to do things. You have to super chat. Right, I'm not going to drop my mic on the phone, am I? On the phone? On the floor. Oh, I've got hair falling out of my head. Oh, 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 oh. There we go, off the shoulder number tonight. Da, da, da. See, I need Sarah back, because at least then we would do our dance together and I didn't feel quite as stupid, but there we go. It's my bat wings, bat wings on my jumper as well. I could fly, if I fell out of a, if I fell off of a building or fell out of a plane, at least I'd have some wind resistance to help me a little bit, or probably maybe not. <laughs> Although, I don't think I'll be going in the plane anytime soon. <laughs> um, oh, excuse me. I told you I was tired. Thank you, Richard. Quick question. If I super chat, would you wear a pair of tights on your head? <laughs> um, depend how much you super chatted, to be fair. It'd have to be a decent amount for me to sit here looking like a complete pillock, I have to say. But uh, there we go. Looking sensational, Lucy. Love the skirt and the tights. And hell yes, on Sarah. She's been missed. Hope she's watching. No, I don't think she is. Do you know, I'm actually missing a girly evening this evening to sit and talk to you lot. Because it was scheduled in. But the girls are all around uh, Sarah's house at the moment. Um, right, let's have a look. Do you like to wear your heels with jeans? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Are you in the UK? Are you in UK? Yes, I am in the UK. 
Do you wear belts to match your outfits as well? Sometimes, not always. By the way, how was your day? It was very nice, thank you. I've been sat in the sunshine most of the time. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm just scrolling back up because I missed some of the comments. How beautiful, Lucy, great to see you. Beautiful, thank you, Liam. Uh, thank you, Mike. What was your favorite high heels? I've answered that one. Nice top and skirt. Right, okay, scroll back down again. I think I've done most of those. Um, let's have a just watching Kylie Minogue at Glastonbury. It should have been this weekend. Oh, was it this weekend? This, uh, not this weekend, next weekend, I should be in Spain with the girls for the weekend. My flights got cancelled. Very upsetting. I need to go on holiday. It's not fair. Um, thanks, T Mick. Sergio, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. What would you do if England won the World Cup? Says the cyber leader. Not a lot. <laughs> As I mentioned, don't watch the footy. Do you know what? Over the years, the only um, the only football I have ever watched really is the World Cup. And um, let's face it. Oh my goodness! I do apologise. Wake up. Um, I didn't even watch the match the other night. Were they playing Scotland or something? And Scotland thrashed them, from what I understand. So what's the chances of them winning the World Cup, really? Seriously. Uh, how many US dollars to put pantyhose on your face? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know. I'll have a think. Hang on. Um, but thank you, Neil. That's very kind of you. I'm sad for you on Spain, Lucy. Do you know what, Bratman? So am I. Although, do you know what? They are talking about um, people who have bad both their jabs not having to isolate when they come back from places that are on the amber list. Which means I wouldn't have to isolate because I've had both my jabs. But I, I'm not quite 100% sure on the rulings at the moment because if a country is amber, you're still not supposed to go, are you? But how can I work my way around that? Because I need to, I need to go. Do people, can people just get on an aeroplane still? Are they getting stopped at airports? I'm not quite sure what's happening. Haha, mm. <laughs> Lucy, Scotland was 0-0. Zero, zero. Stick to the... Oh, okay, but I heard... Okay, they might not have won against Scotland or lost against Scotland, but I heard that the Scots were all over the English in the World Cup. Okay, they might have they might have had a draw, but they still didn't win, so it's no good. I had my jabs, Pfizer. Oh, well done. I had mine. Yeah, I am a tired girl, Derek. What did I have? I had the AstraZeneca. I had the Oxford one before they started talking about people getting blood clots. Thank God I was all right. Um, are you in London? I am. I'm not. Not today. I'm not. No, I'm home today. Poor Lucy says, Derek, I know. No, no, Daniel. I'm, I'm really not your mum. Seriously, I think I'd know if I'd have had a child. Um... Yeah, so I'm not quite sure what the rules are at the moment. Can you do the splits? No. It's zero Austria. Excellent, Andre. Are you happy about that? <laughs> Driver's seat. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, um, Caesar. He's off. Uh, what colour are your tights? Mm, do you know what? I, mm, they're barely black, I think. They're not quite black, are they? They're barely, barely black, these ones. Uh, what is your favourite rock band? Hmm. I would say... Aerosmith, I would say. Although, Guns N' Roses were superb. Well, they're not rock, are they? Would you class them as rock or soft metal? Hmm, don't know. What have you been up to today, Lucy? And what's tomorrow lined up? Sunday dinner? Yes, I am doing Sunday dinner tomorrow. I've got lamb or I've got pork. Lamb or pork, lamb or pork. See, I like lamb better. Um, but yeah, Sunday roast tomorrow. Have I got anything else lined up tomorrow? Yes, the, um, the wedding that I went to yesterday, 
they've now gone on a little mini moon, but they come back tomorrow. But the wedding present that I bought them hadn't arrived here. So I dropped the card in and I have to run the present over. If they're not in, it's fine. I can just give it to a neighbor for them. Um, but I have to run their present over. So that'll be a hour, hour and a half round trip, I guess. Um, but that's fine because I can stop and have a mooch about in the area. What films do you like? Oh, hang on a minute. Judy says, I'm going to Bonnie Scotland for three nights on Monday. That wasn't a very good <laughs> Scottish accent, was it? Uh, James says, thanks for not going to the girls. You're welcome. I'm, as I said, a bit tired anyway. I don't think I could have uh, coped. Um, okay. How many pantyhose do I own? Oh, I don't know. Do you know what? At the moment, I've got, I've got hardly any nude or natural color tights at the moment i am severely severely lacking in in fact i do you know what if i'm completely honest i think i own two pairs of nude or natural color tights at the moment this is a crisis might be a first world country type crisis but it is a crisis nonetheless black tights i'm i'm all right for black tights got quite a few pairs of black tights nude and natural two pairs only it could be disaster um Guns N' Roses rock. Yes, they do. Guns N' Roses are brilliant. Bradman says, I'm glad you stayed in tonight. You're very welcome. What's my fate? What is your favorite road? <laughs> What's my favorite road? The road to the airport when I'm going on holiday. That's my favorite road. Definitely. Hmm? Oh, Kate's going, I drive. Yeah, international drive's good. I do like international. Or the road leading up to Disney. When you see the big sign over the I-4, when you see the big sign for Disney. That's a pretty cool road as well. It's all fun. Oh, thanks, Bratman. Donating to the Tights Fund, the Nude Tights Fund. Oh, my goodness. This is so rude of me. Hector just asked how I am. I'm clearly very tired. Maybe if I sat up a bit and I wouldn't sat back. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that'll do it. Hang on. Oh, right. Maybe I was too comfortable, right? I'm sat up. And hopefully I won't yawn now. I've got a really bad elbow. I don't know how, but at the wedding yesterday, I took a piece, I took a real piece of skin off of my elbow. And it's ever so sore. Hence, when I put my arm down there, and that really hurt. Paul says, hello, hello. Andre says, hello, hello. Do you have white tights? Mm, no, I don't. What is your next boots video? Oh, uh, well, do you know what? I've got a pair of boots to review here. These arrived actually to go with my Supergirl costume. Um, and obviously these come through my Amazon wish list. So um, I don't know what's quite going on, but I've actually had three pairs of these arrive. <laughs> so I have three pairs of knee high red boots. Um, for all my, for all of my Supergirl wearing days. Um, so they're good ones and they've got nice grips on the bottom actually. And the grips, the design, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. The design of the grip is lots of little pairs of heels. Heel shoes, lots of stilettos on the grips, which is pretty groovy. I like the smell of leather. Um, so there's there's a pair of boots, but of which I have three, and they're all th three. They're exactly the same boots. So three pairs of red boots. So I'm not going to need any red boots for a considerable amount of time, I think. But they're quite nice, aren't they? And like I said, when I decide to dress the Supergirl, they come in really handy. <laughs> really, really handy. Ow, my elbow. Um, La la la, when are you going to see Velma and Daphne video? Oh, I know. Do you know what? We did one. Me and Sarah did one and it was just awful. <laughs> I think I've got one. I think I've got one on the channel where we're sat down mucking about and talking. But it just is not very good. Um... <laughs> What's my favourite colour mouse? Um, my favourite colour mouse. 
Well, Kate's saying a brown mouse. Why a brown mouse? Why, Kate? She's nodding, but yeah, but why? Why a brown one? How many brown mice do you know? Hmm. See, Danger Mouse was white. Danger Mouse was cool, but Penfold was better. Um, I'm trying to think now. What colour was um, Jerry in Tom and Jerry? He was a brown mouse. Now, he was a cute mouse. Uh, but in Tom and Jerry, they had a, a... Who was the little... He had a little um, French mouse that used to dress like with like a musketeer's hat, didn't he? Who had the French accent. And he was very cute. Um, I think it was white mice, I think. Um, could I ride a balloon? <laughs> Mighty Mouse. Yeah, Mighty Mouse was cool. But like I said, Mighty Mouse wasn't actually that clever, was he? It was Penfold. It was clever. Um, uh, somebody's talking about Juicy Lucy. Juicy Lucy was a crazy woman from Finsbury Park. Is that right? <laughs> um, hang on, I've missed a load of comments. Uh, da -da -da, Miss Lucy, your red boots is pretty nice. Thank you. Yeah, liking the boots. What's your favourite colour mouse? We've done that when I saw GNR open for Ace Freely in 87 in St. Louis. Oh, okay. Is it possible to shoot more cosplay, please? I know, I must I must do that. I quite enjoyed, um, I did a video a little while back in my Supergirl costume, which was really good fun. Um, do do where are all the hot England girls? I don't know. <laughs> Not here. Where is your bestie friend? I mean, with the girls. She's out. Can I play with your... Can I pay you to layer your pantyhose? To layer it? If you... Polo, if you want a custom video, I'm more than happy to stick tights on my head. <laughs> if that's what you want. Or if you want me to layer my tights, I can do that too. You need to get in touch for a custom video, I'm thinking. Um, driver's seat. So what is the purpose of this chat? Do you know, that is a blooming good question. What it? What is the purpose of this chat? Um, do you know what? It varies. It varies from time to time. You know, we talk about all different things. Tights and, and things like that tend to be a hot topic. People always want to know what tights I'm wearing or what kind of brand of shoes I'm wearing. Sometimes we talk about music, sometimes we talk about films, sometimes we talk about Loki. Now, I've not seen Loki this week. I must, I haven't seen that one yet. What was I doing Wednesday night? Why didn't I watch it Wednesday night? I don't know. I've got two episodes of Outlander left now on season five, and then I'm done on Outlander. And whilst that gives, frees up my evenings to then watch stuff that I've missed out on, because I've got quite a few things that I need to watch. I will also be extremely sad and disappointed when it's all over. And I will be waiting desperately for season six. Because I have loved Outlander. Probably more than I've loved any other series for quite some time. Yes, it's very good. Very, very good indeed. Um, I've had another super chat from Jonathan Manson. Thank you. Were you ever an X Factor fan? Or did you find the programme somewhat idiotic? Yeah. Um... I never used to watch much of it except for kind of like the last couple of episodes when it was through to the finals. Some of the acts, I think, you know, when you've got, when you had the likes of Chico and the Cheeky Girls and who else was a bit stupid? Was it G? Was, no, it wasn't Gina G, was it? There was a, there was a something G. I don't know what her name was now. She used to wear gold tracksuits. What was that about? So some of the acts, I think, Kate's... Honey G, thank you, Kate. Yeah, Honey G, she was a bit of a waste of time. So I never understood why they used to... Put, I guess they were a novelty. But um, I know a couple of people that actually did get through on X Factor or auditioned and got so far. Yeah. What happened to Gareth Cates? And what happened to... Uh, what was the other one? Will Young. Kate's talking to me in the background. And Darius. See, Darius brought out some more white stuff. Gareth Kay brought some out. And Will Young brought out some more white stuff. Of course, Leona Lewis went on and did well. And uh, what's her name as well? 
What's the other one, Kate, that, that did really well as well? We saw her in the um, Bodyguard, didn't we, on, in, in the theatre? What was her name? I don't know what her name was. But uh, yeah, some, some, some of the acts that came out of the X Factor were very good, but yeah, I weren't into it particular, that much, really. Uh, thanks, Gerard. Do men look at your legs at work? Well, except for when they're, my legs are under the desk. I had to go meet my, <laughs> I did have to go meet my new boss last week. And uh, the new office I'm going to be working is um, very, very, very male dominated, I have to say. Um, I walked through the office and it, admittedly the office isn't full yet. So there might be a lot of women that will work in the office that I'm going to be in. Um, but I went in for the first time the other day and of, I would say, I mean, it's a big office, but probably because of COVID and all the rest of it, there was probably only 20, 25 people in, in total in the office I'm going to be working in. Not one, not one woman apart from me. So I did feel, did I feel self-conscious? No, wrong word. I was not self-conscious, but I was conscious of the fact that as I walked through the office, uh, there was lots of eyes on me. More from more from the point of view of who the hell is this girl walking in, I'm sure. Um, but I was also then very conscious of the fact that my skirt was a couple of inches above my knee. And I was then kind of a bit like, oh, um, maybe I should have worn something a bit longer. Eh, who cares? Um... Right, okay. Uh, right then, let's have a look. Do you have your Daphne and Velma video costumes still? Yeah, I've still got them. Um, have you seen Superman and Lois? Yes, I have. Yeah, I used to watch Superman and Lois. I also used to watch... Oh, no. Oh, it's a new series. No, I haven't then. Kate's filling me in on the fact that it's a new series. No, I haven't seen that. I used to see... I watched the old... Superman series with Dean Cain. That's an old one, isn't it? They always get a bit stupid. And I loved... What was the Superman series with... Um, was it Tom, Tom Welling was his name? Tom Welling? He was cute. He was fit. Um, and I liked that one. But again, they started going then, right, okay, we've run out of a storyline. So let's start bringing aliens down from other planets, which I know Superman was. Uh, but then it gets all a bit silly. So I kind of lost interest in that one as well. But no, I've not seen the new... Superman and Lois series yet. Hello, Charlie. How are we doing? Honey G, lol, she was terrible. She was awful. She was awful. Bratman, why are you now in blue? Your your name is now in blue and you've got a spanner next to your name. That's not a good sign, is it? Now that you're a... Alexandra Burke. That's the girl. Thank you very much. I kept wanting to say Rachel something. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, Bratman, you've got a spanner next to your name. Honey G says Derek, yes. Hey, how is everyone, says Michelle. If everybody could reply to Michelle, let them let her know how you're feeling. That would be lovely. What uh, Would you like Australia one day? As in, would I like to go to Australia yet one day? Yes, I certainly would. Absolutely, I would. But I need to spend a little while over there, I think, because Australia is so massive. You know, if you're going to go somewhere that far away from where you already live, you need to have a right old look around, don't you? You, you know, a couple of weeks isn't going to be long enough. I'd like to know if you think women dress for men or to impress other women day to day. Do you know what, Santa's boyfriend? Um, it's a good question, but I would say that every woman is different. Some women will dress for their men. Some women will dress for power. Some women will dress for how it makes them feel. Some women will dress to impress other women, I guess. Um... For me, it really depends. It depends on what I'm doing. So most days, if I've not got plans, I just dress for me. I dress for what's comfortable. You know, today I was in jeans because I didn't know what the weather was going to do and I had to pop out and do a few things. So I was in jeans today. Um, I think most women, if they like to make the best of themselves, dress in a way that they think makes them look the best, I guess. Uh, have you watched Fit Fresh podcast? No, I haven't. Um, how do you feel about cross dresses? I how do I feel about them? I don't necessarily have a feeling about them. I know a few. There's quite a few of them that um, live around my way. Actually, I, I don't. I don't think I have an opinion. Not really. I suppose 
there's only one thing I suppose that about cross-dressers that occasionally bothers me in that if you are a man that wants to cross-dress as a woman invest in a decent wig if you're not going to grow your hair down because uh, a number of cross-dressers that I've seen they just get cheap wigs they might have a wonderful outfit on really cheap looking wig and it ruins the outfit it really does ruin the outfit so if you're a cross-dresser good on you invest in a decent wig that's my piece of advice um right i would like to invite you to dinner thanks daniel i'm kind of on a diet right now but i i love dinner i love eating <laughs> oh Derek's going oh bye I hope I didn't upset you in some way. You've just decided to go. Um, Tonks the Pony, hello. <laughs> Driver's seat, why do English people have bad teeth? Do they? I don't have bad teeth. I have lovely teeth. I've not noticed, some people have bad teeth. But then I've been on holiday to numerous countries and noticed a lot of people with bad teeth. It's not about being English, it's just about people that don't look after their teeth, surely. Don't know. Smallville. Thank you, Sal. I knew you'd be there with the name of it. I couldn't think of what it was called. I was thinking Superman the Early Years. No, that's not it. Smallville. That was a good one. Batman, you've still got a spanner next to your name and you're in blue. Um, thank you, Sarah. That's very kind of you. Oh, there you are. Bratman's in there as well. Smallville with Tom Welling. Yeah, I knew it was Tom Welling. Um, do you wear tights for work? Yes, I wore my tights to work the other day and I have to say it was a very hot day. I came home very, very warm. Uh, does that mean no more working from home? Oh, no, no, I'm going to be working from home. I literally, I've i been going into the office maybe once a fortnight, I suppose it's averaged out, just because I like a bit of a change of scenery, really. But this week just gone, I went in on the day that my team, my new team was going to be in because I thought it would be a nice opportunity to meet them all. Um, yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, that was that. Got to be those red boots to try on Lucy. Uh -huh. Bratman's on it again, okay. Um, Matthew's saying, oh crikey, is there a plan B? A plan B for what? What have I missed? <laughs> what have I said that I've completely forgotten? Uh, hang on then. Derek says, okay, Michelle. Hang on, well, I've missed a conversation going on here. <laughs> I don't know what you're all talking about. Do you wear tights only for live streams? Well, no, like I said, I wore tights into work the other day, even though it was a hot day. Hello, in New Zealand. How are you doing, Ferris? Oh, Gabriel Hubby, you've decided to join us. How nice of you. Um, oh, Daniel, where would you take me for dinner? Um, oh, Derek's going again. Derek, you said bye just now. You're still here. <laughs> uh, you don't sound very drunk this evening. No, I'm not this evening, I have to say. Um, loved your gaming video chats. Could we see more, please? Oh, thank you, Matthew. Did you talk to me on the chats? I'm, yeah, I think you probably did actually, didn't you? At the moment, my gaming chats are a bit, um, I don't get many viewers at the moment because it's my smaller channel, which is fine. So it's a very, it's a much more intimate little talk, isn't it? Um, because there's only a few of us. Um, Hang on then, so hang on, Daniel's going, can you shake the hill up and down? There you go, I'll dangle it that way instead. And Matthew's just gone, Penfold! We mentioned Penfold ages ago. <laughs> Penfold was the best. Penfold! And uh, who was it, who was the arch enemy? It was uh, Baron Greenback, wasn't it? Was the arch enemy of, of um, my team? No, that was Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse was with Penfold. Is that what I said earlier or did I say Mighty Mouse? Danger Mouse was with Penfold, Mighty Mouse. I didn't like Mighty Mouse. He was a very muscly mouse, didn't like him very much. Hello, Tom, how you doing? Um, what are the custom videos you do? Um, Bratman, I haven't forgot you, I'll put the red boots on in a sec. Um, what are the custom videos you're doing? So I've got two, after I've done this live stream, I've got three, I think. One of them I've just got a faint and lie on the floor. <laughs> danger is I might fall asleep because I'm really tired so that'd be so whoever gets that custom video we could actually potentially end up with a really long video because I might literally just fall asleep on the floor if I've got to pretend to pass out uh and then I got a 
a couple of others. Ian says, Matt Hancock resigns. Have you seen the meme of Matt Hancock um, and, uh, oh, what's his name? Steve Coogan is being dubbed over the top. It's hilarious. That's really funny. Mighty Mouse is from Barbados. Is he really? I didn't know that. Bonsoir, Aziz. Um, I should know Mighty Mouse from Barbados, but there you go. Um, right, okay. The Baron. Yes, it was. Baron Greenback. Yes. Please wear gloves. Oh, too fun. You always come on and ask for gloves. I don't have my gloves on. It's too hot. Um, thank you, Daniel. You're out of focus. <laughs> I think Kate's just sat forward for that very purpose. Uh, Kate must be streaming again. Yeah, it is Kate. Right, anyway. Gabe, uh, no. Um, oh. Bratman asked me to put on the red boots. If you could move away from my feet a minute, please, Kate, because of course, YouTube does not like my feet on show. Let's get my feet out of the picture. I can still see my feet, hang on. If they demonetize this film, this video is your fault if you get my feet in it. That's what I'm saying. I gotta go careful not to catch my <gasps> catch my tights in the boots. Not too sure that these uh, red boots are gonna go without go with my outfit now, but there we go. Hang on, I've got to be careful not to get my tights caught. There we go. Red boots are now on move my, my lovely Prada shoes out the way. What do we think? What do we think of the red boots? Not right for this outfit, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, now I'm looking at my picture. No, definitely not for this, uh, with this outfit, but there we go. Uh, right, okay. Where are we? Polo says, try on the sandals, please. Problem is, I don't have any sandals down here. My sandals are all upstairs so I'm not running upstairs to get them and sandals won't go with black tights for crying out loud um when are you going to do some bloom props again the balloons only tend to come out when I have a custom video so if you want to order a custom video with balloons then feel free but yeah they only tend to come out when I get a custom video for them um let's have a look Fabio has put lots of different Emojis and bits, not quite sure what you're saying there, my sweetheart. How often do you wear stockings or hold-ups? Which would you prefer? Do you know what? Um, stockings and hold-ups are fine, actually, and they are better in this heat, to be fair. Tights in this heat are... Get a little bit on the warm side, shall we say. Um, okay, let's have a look. Where are we? Are... Uh, Bratman, wow, Supergirl boots looking as good. Thanks, Lucy. Bratman, you need to sort out why you're blue with a spanner. I don't know why that is. Yeah, driver's seat says, red boots do nothing for me. No, do you know what? I think they look great with the Supergirl costume. This is not a look, is it? I, don't, I agree with you. Um, how do you be home a moderator? I've made for, I'm made for that job. Yeah, well, Kate's already got that job, really, hasn't she? So, um, there we go. Would you be, would, what would be your favourite thing to do in the States? Um, do you know what? I'd like to do a bit of a road trip around the States. I, you know, I'd, li I'd like to go around California. I'd like to do San Francisco. I'd like to do Vegas. I've only done kind of Orlando and Miami in the Keys. That's the only part of the States I've done. I'd have, like to have a ride told me to around, like to New, New York. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Like I was saying just now, like if I go to Australia, I'd have to spend a certain, a decent amount of time there so I can do a travel round and have a good old look. I'd like to do the same in the States, really. Um, oh, they go well with the coloured tights, Sal. You're right. But as a rule, they kind of stick out like a sore thumb, don't they? I need to be wearing something red. Just to change, guys, on the boots. The heels are my favourite with tights, but the boots look amazing. Thank you. Um, right, let's have a look. Please wear gloves. I can't, they're upstairs. Can I be a moderator, please? I can kick ass. 
I'm sure you could, Gabriel, but then I'd have to give you all my logins and stuff, so I oh, don't, think, don't think we'll be doing that, do you? Um, don't know, I have no idea on the spanner. Kate might know, I'll look it up later. No, I don't think Kate Lieber does know. Um, yes, you call them pantyhose, not tights in the US, don't you? Yes, I know you do. And I get, there are lots of people when they message me as well about videos and things like that, they call them nylons. Yeah, it's a, it's a UK thing, I think, being called tights. Uh, Stuart says, I like any kind of knee-high boots. What are you watching just now, says Gabriel Hubby. So I've got two episodes left of Outlander. I love that series. It's been a fantastic series. Love it, love it, love it. Rather raunchy in places, I have to say. But um, yeah, that's been really, really good. And Loki, although I've not seen this week's episode of Loki as yet. But Outlander has kind of dominated my TV for quite a few weeks now. So now I've only got two episodes left. I can get those out of the way and I can start watching some other things so I can talk about other stuff other than Outlander because that's literally dominated my TV. Um, right then, okay. Is the heat on in London? Oh, it's really, really hot in the UK at the moment. Well, all, all around my neck of the woods, it's quite hot at the moment. Do not come to New York. Crime and rioting every night. The governor and the mayor of New York City have cut the police budgets. Oh, really? See, we're not hit. Do you know what? When um, old Trumpety Trump was in office, we used to hear about what was going on in the States all the time. All the time. We used to hear about what was going on and Trump and what he was doing or not doing and everything like that. Now, nothing on the news. Don't hear a thing. But good point. I won't be coming to New York anytime soon. Um, Gabriel Hubby says, Outlander. Oh, my God, my wife is obsessed with that guy. Do you know what? It's not him. He's the guy that plays Jamie. Do you know what? It's He's, he's all right looking and stuff like that. But it's not his looks or anything like that. I mean, he's six foot three, which is quite nice, I have to say. But... Um, I bet what she's attracted to more than anything, which is what I think it is, it's just how much he loves his wife. That's what it is. The way she is just everything to him. And that is what's appealing. It's lovely. Um, keep Kate. She is doing a fantastic job. Yes, James. Kate ain't going anywhere. Don't worry. The Spanner might be because Bratman is a channel member. Well, it's only just appeared tonight. Um, would you rather stand on a plug or kneel on a screw? Ooh, stand on a plug. <laughs> I'd rather not do either, to be fair. Um, have you ever made trampling custom videos? Yes, yeah, a number of them on my channel. Um, that doesn't sound good non-New York, does it? Nothing was going on with Trump. We had law and order. Okay. I'm not going to get into polit politics and everything like that. All I'm, say all I'm saying about it is that when Trump was president... We heard a lot about what was going on in the States. We don't hear anything now. Um, it may be because I super chat Sal and Lucy on this is a Lucy on the spanner. <laughs> no, I don't think it's because you super chat. A spanner kind of indicates that there's an issue, I would say. I don't think it's because you super chat because um, Polo super chatted earlier and he doesn't have a spanner next to his name. Oh, and you had a kebab tonight, Gabriel Hobby, did you? Oh, do you know what? I had a friend of mine gave me some homemade samosas today. Oh my God, they were flipping lovely. Oh, <laughs> I know if you go like to an Indian restaurant or get an Indian takeaway, the food is lovely. I've got one local to me at the moment and the Indian food that comes out of there is just mwah, really, really good. But her homemade vegetable samosas were just divine, I have to say. Um, she gave them to me because I did her a favour. So she went, oh, I've done these for you. It was great. Now all I want to do is more favours for her because I just kind of like, yeah, just cook for me some more because it was lovely. Um, right, okay, right, hang on, let's get through these. Matthew's off, bye-bye. Um, I'm going to be going now as well. Have you your leather cat suit? I, do you know what? I have got a leather cat suit. I've not even tried it on yet. It came in the post the other week. And as I keep saying, I'm on a diet. And I'm scared to try it on at the moment. Um, 
<laughs> there's me talking about losing weight and William's gone, how do you stay so skinny? <sighs> do you know what? You're my new favorite person. Thank you so much for saying that. I'm, yeah, I'm not skinny. Um, oh my goodness. I love you for saying that, William. No, I, I need to lose. I need to lose weight at the moment. Um, yeah, anyway. Love the boots, but could you put your heels back on, please? As I love to see them dangle. Yeah, I will do, Matthew. Driver's seat says, Indian food in England is terrible. Well, it probably is, except for when your um, Indian friend who makes traditional Indian food cooks for you, and then it's amazing. And another Indian friend of mine last year um, showed me how to make a traditional Indian curry. And um, that was just, it's just, um, oh no, I'm gonna get the tights caught in the zip. Um, and that is just amazing as well. So I would actually like to learn to make more Indian food. So, well, at the moment I can only do the curry. But I need you to show me some more actually, because it just is. A fabulous. Uh, okay, right then, let's finish off. So, Bratman's done another super chat for a last twirl, which I will do. Um, Lucy would be a beautiful cat woman, thank you. <laughs> right, off we go then. Last twirl of the night. Back in the heels, back in the Pradas. So, there we go. No more red boots. I'm still wearing my denim skirt that's got a hole in the pocket. That's no good, is it? I'm trying to find a nice denim mini skirt that's kind of this length at the moment. They seem to be all kind of right down by the knee that I can see in the shops. I need to get another mini one. So there we go. That's it for this evening. We is done. I've got to, what time is it? It's five to 11. I've got three custom videos to do before I can go to bed. Quick dangle, get some proper sleep, Lucy. I know, I know, absolutely. Um, Lucy in high heels is better. Um, Gabriel Hubby says, hello, Kate. <laughs> uh, give us a thumbs up, Kate. She's doing a thumbs up, but she's just not showing her hand. Um, okay. Anyway, right, okie dokie, we is off. Right, thank you everybody for joining me this evening. Love you all. If you are not a subscriber yet, then please do not forget to, please don't forget to subscribe because the square, so, blah, 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 blah. rewind, do it again. Subscribers are very important. So please subscribe if you haven't done already. Um, over the next couple of days, I will try and get some more gaming videos done for those of you that have been joining me on my gaming channel over the last couple of days. They've been a bit fun. Albeit I'm not very good at playing Roblox because I keep getting killed, but you know, you seem to find that funny. Don't know why, it's a bit mean really, but never mind. Um, so anyway, so continue to join me over the next couple of days when I get on my gaming channel. Um, and I shall see you all soon. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.